This is a CTC-16 chassis from the set that I showed in the previous video with a security camera hooked to it. This set's going to be used in a fairly well-known museum here in Los Angeles for an art project that's going to run for four months. So the set's going to get four to six hundred hours of continuous use. And today I'm doing the modifications that I see needed uh, to try and help it through that long run. I've installed a comp RCA for the composite video input and actually soldered everything into place. Removed the IF tubes, I removed the audio tubes because they don't need sound as well as the tuner tubes to reduce the load on the on the uh, B plus and transformer. I'm going to fuse the horizontal output cathode. I'm going to fuse the line going into the power transformer as well as the B plus coming out. I'm also going to space this up so that we get some ventilation in the back and in the front to try and keep the flyback cool and I I got these uh, valve body springs from the transmission shop next door and I'm going to use one as a spacer I'll show how that works I'm going to uh, add some electrolytics in parallel with the ones that often go bad in these sets just as backup I've also got a hundred ohm 5 watt resistor which is needed because I'm going to run this set with the convergence assembly disconnected uh, to reduce the load on the vertical and horizontal output. The image that's going to be displayed does not need convergence. It's very simple. It doesn't have any edges and I'll get the static as close as I can. So we'll get going on these modifications and I'll kind of show as I go along. So the idea here with this is to use the spring as an extension to that uh, so that you can essentially, I don't know how I'm going to show this, but you have to get your hand up in here to get it in the hole. Okay, so this gives a opening in the front at the bottom and an opening at the back, at the top, let some air flow through and keep that flyback cool and we have this kind of springy action from that spring and I put a big washer on there uh, so that screw will hold this down. I got to make sure that that's arcing, not arcing in there and making good contact. So that'll be for when it's back together. Okay, I have one Paralleled electrolytic here. I replaced this because it was one of these white ones that likes to short. We have the resistor here from the vertical output cathode basically to ground to bypass the convergence. We have our B plus fuse here and we have our horizontal output cathode fuse here to protect the flyback or horizontal output tube. This will be 250 milliamps and this will be uh, two amps. One other modification I did here which should greatly increase the life and reliability is on RCA they have a a high line voltage tap which is unused which is this bottom uh, white and black wire and usually well I put the fuse in but this black wire was connected up here which was the regular line voltage so what I did is I ran it through the fuse and then I connected it to the high line voltage which should lower uh, everything down about 10 percent which will greatly reduce heat okay we're pretty much in testing mode you can hear some fans running and what I've done is I've installed 
three muffin fans on the bottom blowing up into the bottom of the chassis. And also what I've done is I've put some little wood blocks on both sides here to space the bottom of the back out so that the flyback can can get some ventilation because this card this cardboard back um, sits right up against the back of the flyback. So we're going to let it run here for a few days and see how it works. The fans really help keep it cool. And uh, then we'll put it into service and see how it lasts and document what happens over the course of uh, three months. This actually looks kind of cool. Just the camera pointed up at the sky.